Drum, 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 drum. Hi everyone and welcome to the eighth episode of The Drum Show. Coming up we have a performance from Tommy Davies with Red Bar Shatter and we also have Max Sadie with some 20-ish questions. But first, we asked Liam to demystify tuning a little bit further, so here he is with a video on how to tune your toms. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to tune this high tom. I'm going to tune it kind of medium range, um, not very tight, but not very loose. Um, so, uh, it's 10 inches diameter, 8 inches deep, by the way. So, grab your head and the hoop. Now, when you put the head on, just make sure it's as flat and even as it can be, because they're not built to be kind of a tight fit. So you might see that you can kind of pull it over to one side and get quite a lot of excess on one side. So just make sure it's evenly, evenly spaced around the edge. Yeah, that's all good. So it's kind of central. Put the hoop on, obviously making sure it's relatively in line with your with your lugs. Great, put the rods on. Don't give them much, if any, tension yet. You can obviously screw them in a little bit to make sure they stay in place. Okay, great. Now what I'm going to do is bring the rods down until they're kind of touching the top of the hoop. Again, not any tension yet, just to bring them down to the surface so that they can all start from relatively the same place. Good, so now we should be starting from relatively the same, uh, the same starting place from all over the head, which is a good place to start. Um, now what we're gonna do is bring it to um, what we call finger tight, which is as it sounds, you're gonna tighten um, each of these rods with your fingers until you can't tighten them anymore, but um, do them opposites at the same time. Okay, the reason for that is that if you do it one at a time, yeah, like that, is that you're gonna bring tension to the head all across the head at different times, which can throw it off being flat, okay? You want it to be flat and even as much as possible so that you get an even sound later on. So I'm gonna do opposites, I'm gonna do these two first. Finger tight. <laughs> now these two. Then these two. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go round again, just to double check, especially if you've got a new head, because it can go out of tune very quickly, because they're very stretchy. Okie dokie, now is the time to grab yourself a drum key. So, this next part, I'm gonna talk in terms of turns, okay? How many turns of the key. So, remember, Look at, look at a point in your key that you can use as a reference for when you've done a whole turn or a half turn or a quarter turn or any of that. So I'm gonna start with this rod. So again, we're gonna go in opposites. So I'm gonna do a half turn on all of them. So the key is basically flipping around in this case with a half turn. That feels quite strong already. Ah, one thing I've missed. Um, before you do any of that, after you've got it finger tight, if especially a new head, if you put your hand and just gently press into it, you might see some wrinkles appear. Tune those out 
before you do anything specific, okay? So wherever you see a wrinkle, if you see a wrinkle over here, tune this rod up over here, these ones, okay? Until, the, until you haven't got any wrinkles across the head. Then you can tune um, the specific uh, rods. So let's see how that sounds right now. So that's not bad. Um, so that was with a, a half turn. Obviously, it depends what kind of pitch you're looking for in the drum. So, the tricky part now, if you get a stick, I like to put my index finger in the middle of the head so it isolates uh, each individual rod a bit more, is you can tap uh, each rod to see if they're even. Um, so, I don't know if you can hear that, this one is slightly lower. So it sounded like these three were a little bit lower. I'm gonna tighten those just a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, you can also tell if you're getting quite close because when you do the rods, you can, hit, you can kind of hear the head vibrating across the whole thing. It won't just be over here. You can hear it vibrating on the other side as well. Good. So, in terms of the bottom head, um, you can obviously do the same thing to start with, but in terms of differences of pitch. Now, if you tune them the same, that's, that's a good place to start from if they're the same pitch but you might notice that you get a good note but not very much sustain. The drum won't ring out for very long. So what I like to do um, is to tune the bottom head just slightly tighter than the top one. So if I take you over to the piano over here, the space of a half step is how I like to tune uh, the top versus the bottom. So if this was the, the top head, the bottom head would be, okay, not the same, but pretty close. So I'm gonna stick you down here. So let's see where we're at now. So this is the top head. So the bottom, the bottom head's actually lower right now. So I'm gonna take it up a little bit. might find because the bottom heads are likely a little bit thinner so they'll be a bit more sensitive that sounded pretty good there we go it sings enjoy Thanks Liam, and now we have Tommy Davies with Red Barchetta by Rush.
Wow, nice one, Tommy. So now I'd like to give a warm welcome to a fellow student of the year, Max. Your o student of the year. Yeah, no, I, I was student of the year, but that was in 2015. We're talking about the first ever student of the year. So here's Max Sadie with his answers to the now legendary 20-ish questions. Okay, so I've written my answers down in advance because I know that I'll just end up thinking for too long and uh, trying to trying to come up with the answer and it'll take ages. So, favourite colour, orange. Favourite food is definitely pizza. Favourite vegetable, it's got to be cucumber because it's very refreshing. Uh, favourite book, I don't tend to read all that much, um, but I am reading a book at the moment called Magpie Murders by Anthony Horowitz, so I'll go for that one. Favourite film, this is a really tricky one, but I went for what was my very first film, my very first favourite film, and that was uh, the first Pirates of the Caribbean uh, film, which was Curse of the Black Pearl, I think. Favourite item of clothing, I like a good jacket, I've got a lot of jackets. Favourite drummers, I've gone for top three, Carter Beauford, uh, Gavin Harrison and Ash Stone. Favourite bands, again there's a lot of bands that I absolutely love but I'll go for the very first band that was my first favourite and that was Dave Matthews Band. And favourite song, again the first song, first kind of favourite song that I ever had was uh, Rapunzel by Dave Matthews Band and that's, that's all thanks to John who, uh, who played me that song actually uh, many many years ago and got me hooked. Uh, worst song, this is this is tricky, there's a lot of songs I don't like. Um, sometimes I tend to find myself hating the majority of what's in the charts at, at any given time, but that's not always the case. Best gig that I've ever been to, been to a lot of gigs. I'll probably say one that stood out to me was, probably because it was the most recent, um, I went to go and see Dave Matthews Band in Prague, and the venue was really, really small, which is quite rare to, to, to get to see a band like that in a small venue um, and we just got the best the best standing position um, we could you know we were really really close and then worst gig that I've been to this is tricky I don't really think I've been to a I don't think I've ever consciously gone to a gig um, chosen to go to a gig and, and, and hated it but I've been I've witnessed a few gigs that I've not enjoyed uh, band artist that I'd most like to see in person, sorry, to see live, I think would be Justin Timberlake. I know Daniel said that as well, um, and that's just because he's got a killer band. Am I a city or a country person? I would say that I am a bit of both. I like being able to go out to the country, have a walk around, but then at the same time I like to be able to do things, go out to you know coffee shops or restaurants, that sort of thing. The place I most like, most like to visit would be Thailand, e, e, that kind of area, I think, that part of the world. Uh, best thing about being at home at the moment is being able to uh, spend more time at home and uh, not be thinking too much about work. Worst thing about being at home is definitely not being able to see friends and family and be able to go out for go out for meals and go to coffee shops, that kind of thing. Uh, but fingers crossed it's not going to be too much longer. Thanks Max. So that brings us to the end of today's show, but don't forget to tune in next week where we'll be giving you more details about moving back to JTDS, as well as posting updates on our John the Drum School Facebook page. So now we're going to leave you with a sneak preview of the next episode of The Drum Show. See if you can guess what song this is just by the drums.